In the last lecture, you learned about how we can validate the token which is being sent by the client to the server. And we were able to successfully verify and validate the token. The problem arised when we used to or we want to do the same thing for another protected route, which is called deposit. So how can we do that? Well, we can copy paste all of this code into our new route deposit and we can verify the token there also. But that's a lot of code to copy paste. So perhaps there is a different, much better solution. And one of those solution is to create a middleware that is going to be performing this authentication. So let's go ahead and see how we can use a middleware. In the server folder, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and I will call it middlewares. You can obviously call your folder anything you want. Next, in the middleware, I'm just going to go ahead and create auth middleware.js. A middleware is nothing more than a function that takes in the request, the response, and next. So I can go ahead and say function a function that takes in a request, a response, and next, where next is basically a function which is going to perform the original request. Now the question is, well, first of all, this function doesn't even have a name, so perhaps we should give it some sort of a name. I'm going to just call it authenticate but you can call this anything you want. Great. Now we need to do the same exact things that we were doing inside our route. We already have the, all of the code that we need to authenticate a user. So let's go ahead and copy everything that is inside the body and we can remove some of the stuff that we don't need. So let's go ahead and copy this. Okay, so now we have a function which is called authenticate and this particular function is trying to get the header. So that should be okay. Trying to split it, token. Well, I don't really think that it has any access to the JWT. So let's go back to our app.js and make sure that we are importing JSON web token, the module at the top. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and export this. So module.exports equals to authenticate function. Now we can go back into our app.js and try to import it. Constant authenticate and require and we will point to our authenticate middleware. Now, if we call this authenticate, we can actually even use it anywhere we want by just passing it as the second argument to our action. Now we need to find out that if it works or it doesn't. Now, if we are performing all of the authentication inside the authenticate function, then we don't really need most of this stuff, right? So we can simply delete quite a bit of this stuff. We don't need it because all of this authentication is now done inside authenticate. And this accounts will only get fired or the body will only get executed, hopefully, when everything is authenticated. So. Now we can simply focus on getting the accounts. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the username from request.body.username. 
And now I can go ahead and get the user accounts, which we have already done, by the way, like users or accounts dot filter an account where account dot username is equals to the username that you actually passed in. And then finally, we can go ahead and say response or JSON user accounts. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and try to get the accounts, just like the same way we're doing that. And we will get some errors, and we will solve them as we get those errors. First of all, in the header, I am passing the authorization token. I'm also passing the body with the username. It says that the token has been tampered. That's interesting. It doesn't look like the token has been tampered. Let's go ahead and try to log in again. Okay, we get the token. So now we have a new token. Let's go ahead and use that token. And make sure that we are passing the complete token after the bearer. Okay, so something definitely is going wrong. It always falls on to token has been tampered. Let's go to our code and try to see that where it can mess up. Authorization should be okay. Headers is okay. So this means that it is having issue with decoding the token. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that the users is not really available in this particular context. So this can also throw an error. Users is an array that we created in app.js, which is right here. But if we do want this to be available in different file, we should be able to just say global.users. Still, we're getting the same exact issue. So we still need to find out that what is preventing from this happening, from this firing. Now, in the actual authentication part, we don't really need anything to do with the accounts. That part is handled in the actual action where we are getting the username and returning the accounts. So we can go to our auth middleware and we can remove these things. So what should we do if the user is actually successful, meaning if the authentication and token is good. Keeping in mind that we are currently inside the authenticate function, which is a middleware. And the job of the middleware, well, at least this middleware, is to authenticate the token, verify the token, and then pass the request to the original request, which was for accounts. So over here, we will call next. Next simply means that carry on with the original request. What was the original request? Well, the original request was going to the accounts. And now you can see that everything works and we are able to get to the accounts. This next part, as you have already learned when you were creating middleware, is the most important part. If you don't call next, then your request will be stuck in the authenticate middleware and the middleware will not know what to do. So make sure that you're calling next. When you call next, the request is going to go and execute everything inside the body of the accounts. And the reason is that, that the middleware is only acting right now for the accounts. If you don't call next, then your request will be stuck inside the middleware and you won't be able to execute the body or the action of the accounts. Now that you have created this particular middleware, you can put it for all the different actions that require authentication without copy pasting a lot of code. You can also, if you have routes, use this middleware and protect all the different routes. I'm not really using routing 
But if you were using Express Router, then you can also protect the complete routes and make sure that all of those routes will require authentication. So now we have created the Authenticate middleware. The next step for us is to go to the client side, which is React, and make sure that we are passing the token correctly. So let's go ahead and do that in the next lecture.